another month and another awesome list just for you. And without further ado, let's get started. Nowadays, we are all using multiple messaging apps at the same time, like WhatsApp, Discord, RCS messages. But sometimes it's a really big headache to deal all of them and manage all of them. Meet with Beeper. Yes, this app is not new, but there's a new feature of this app that convinced me to use it. Now, Beeper can locally encrypt your data and send directly to the messaging service without using Beeper servers, which makes it much more secure. With Beeper, you can add all of your messaging apps and see messages from all of them in the same place. Therefore, no need for using multiple messaging apps at the same time. I especially like to use it instead of Discord since I don't like the user interface of Discord. It's extremely useful for my daily life and it's more secure than ever, so why not give it a try? What about an app that will make it easier for you to read a book? Blinklist is an app that will help you with that. Blinklist will give you a summary of a book based on your preferences every day for you to read and listen. And yes, you can also listen to these summaries, so you can listen to a book while you're doing your chores or commuting. If you're having a hard time finding time to read books, I highly suggest you try Blinklist. Our next app is a must-have utility app for me. FolderSync is a simple app that will help you sync a specific folder with multiple different devices. You can use your own cloud drive for storage, so your files will never get processed by a third-party server. The app supports almost every cloud storage, but my choice is Google Drive. After you sign in with your account, you choose a folder to sync, and that's it. You can either manually sync the folder or set a schedule to be synced regularly. I personally use folder sync to sync my Obsidian libraries and it works seamlessly. Therefore, I highly suggest you give it a try. One utility tap to another. Opti is an app that will be useful if you have more than one Android device like multiple phones or tablets. Once you log in with your Google account, Opti will show you the battery status, internet connection, clipboard history, and some other informations of all the devices that you are using. If you have the Pro license, then you can also set up the app so that it alerts you when your device reaches a certain battery level so you never forget to charge your devices. As a person who regularly carries more than one electronic device at a time, this app is extremely valuable for me. So why not give it a try? I'm an extremely picky person when it comes to choosing movies, thus I always spend hours and hours to just to find one single movie to watch. With CineSwipe, this process is much more enjoyable at least. CineSwipe is basically TikTok but for movies. The app shows you small clips from movies that you might be interested in so that you can have an idea. Then you can add the movie to your watchlist if you liked it or swipe to see the next movie. This way it is both more fun to browse through movies and also much more efficient. So if you're also extremely picky when it comes to movies, I highly suggest you give it CineSwipe a try. What about a pretty unique wallpaper app? Meet with Starlio. Starlio is a wallpaper app that solely consists of astronomy-related photos. The image gallery is truly amazing and the quality of the wallpapers are top-notch. Moreover, when you open a wallpaper, it will show you information related to the image itself, which is extremely fun for people who are interested in astronomy. Finally, the app also supports live wallpaper that can automatically change the wallpaper for you. This one is definitely staying with my phone, so I highly suggest you give it a try. Our next app is for the gamers among us. GDeals is an amazing app that shows you currently active game deals. You can filter a list based on game store, price range, and your price preferences. Then just enjoy your discounts. When you click on a game, it will show you every detail related to the game, deal, and where to buy. It's much more convenient and better than browsing the featured list on all of these platforms. Therefore, if you like playing games, I highly suggest you install this app. I know we all hate getting calls from unknown numbers and sometimes it's extremely hard or borderline impossible to block unknown numbers. Well, DBMB is here to help you. DBMB stands for don't break with my b****s. Yeah. All you have to do is set it as your default call ID app and from that point on, whenever an unknown number calls you, DBMB will automatically prevent your phone from ringing, thus distracting you. If you're having problems with unknown numbers, this might be a must-have for you. So why not give it a try? Okay, the next app is really amazing. Meet with Copy SMS Code. But don't let the name fool you. This app can do much more. 
We all know the authentication codes that firms send you via SMS and every operating system has a default method to easily copy them. However, when they send you the code via email or some other way such as notifications, then you have to do it manually. Thanks to copy SMS code, you don't have to do it anymore. The app reads your notification content and automatically copies the authentication code so that you can simply paste it without opening notification. The moment I installed and tried this app, it definitely become a must have for me, so I highly suggest you give it a try. Our final app is for the ones who like to be updated on news, but don't necessarily have the time to read every newspaper. Meet with Vol. Volve is a news app that only shows you the most important parts of news so that you don't waste time on browsing or reading news websites. You can directly share or like the news from the main page or swipe up to read the next one. Of course, you can also customize the news categories based on your interests. If you like reading news but don't like dealing with news websites, then Vol can be a pretty useful app for you. And with that, we can put the end of this video. If you have any suggestions for the feature, just let me know down in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share because it helps massively. And as always, take care.